Ford's tourism in the Bahamas continues to grow, and with events like Popeye's Bahamas Bowl, sports teams and sports fans are eyeing the Bahamas as a premier destination to play and watch sports. These events also positively impact the community. Bahamas Bowl President Britton Banowski says organizers pledge to strengthen the relationship between the game and the local community. We're going to try and create a, a Bahamas Bowl a youth football league and start with uh, 10 year olds and on four islands and so it's a pretty ambitious um, project but our hope is that we get that going this fall and then end up with a championship game uh, there um, in the stadium uh, the week of the bowl game and we think that would be really neat. Last year both football teams participated in a youth clinic and spent some quality time with less fortunate youth. Organizers donated $56,000 to the Ranfilly Home for Children to fund 10 scholarships. Banowski says that relationship is just beginning, and he's looking at other charities. We also um, are extending our work with the Ranfilly Home for Children, and so there are a number of things that we're, we're learning um, how to do uh, well to give back to the community. The economic impact of the game was also significant as the bowl and the two participating institutions spent over $1.26 million in the Bahamas. The 2015 game will once again feature teams from CUSA and the MAC at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. This year's Christmas Eve game promises to be bigger and better. Stay tuned to the Tourism Today Network for continuous updates and check us out on Facebook. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Nikki DeVoe.